don't lose me. Stay with me here, because you need this. This man, Nehemiah, he cared. To build for God, it takes a willing heart. It really doesn't matter what you have. If you, this month we're reading the book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah was not a rich man, but he had the desire. He couldn't take it that the walls of Jerusalem would be down. And he took upon himself that we will build this wall. And because he decided he was going to build for God, God built his life. Amen. From a cup bearer, he became a leader. Only with the heart to build for God. This man I'm asking you to build for, he's not a man. He's not mortar. He's not flesh and blood. He created you. We build it for everybody. We build it for our one day God God backs in the boat of Hagar. God said, you mean I bless you with everything. And my temple lies in rooms. And every man is just building their own houses. And they don't care about the house of God. He said, I'm so mad. I blow my breath upon everyone. You will work and you will not reap the benefit. Let me tell you something. I'm not going to say nothing negative. I'm going to just say the truth in love to you. Check yourself if you just work in and you can see where your money is going. Could it be it's because God is not added to it? God made you wealthy. He gave you money for his name's sake. Not for you and your body's sake. He gave you it so that you can prosper and you can continue his kingdom on this earth. Nehemiah cared. He inquired about his people. He had compassion. He prayed and he took action. Amen? If you were built, you will have to care. All the errors I was showing you, if you were built in those era, you will have to care about those errors. You will have to make some inquiry, have compassion. Nehemiah was a man who only had the heart to build. And God put the rest in place. I'm telling you here, if legitimately you decide, I will build the house of God. God will put other things in your life in place. Amen. I have never seen any man decide that they want to bless God. And at the expense of blessing God, their life was wrong. But I've seen many men and women who decide that God will wait for another time. I got some projects. I got some things. I got people to see places to go. Today, they are nowhere. Because the man who is supposed to take you somewhere, you left the man behind. So when you go, 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 like the man said, you will come, 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 come. Until we do the right thing, we will keep beating about. Nehemiah, he encouraged and he challenged the people. Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 17 to 18. And then we'll jump to 4 and 6. Nehemiah chapter 2, 17 through 18. It says, Then said I unto them, You see the distress that we are in. How Jerusalem lieth waste, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. Come and let us build up the worlds of Jerusalem, that we will be no more a reproach. Hope us. Let me exegete this text. Why are we submitted to? I'm looking for the nicest for people who don't know God. We Christians see our pastor being begging the landlord. Oh, please extend our lease. Oh, please don't increase me. When powerful men and women like you and I, God prize treasure. We all sit down in one church and let the enemy manipulate us and our selfishness for ourselves. And we decide that things are hard. We ain't able to build. And all of us scatter. And we as the church of God, we submit to our healing. And to people who ain't respect your pastor, who ain't respect God, they talk to your pastor anyway because he's begging for this. You do this. You think we can suffer for a little while and enjoy? You think we can suffer for the 1,000 and bring it and we build? Yes. We've been eating 1,000. Sound big. We've been eating 1,000. I was not in America by that time. But some of y'all, the money y'all not waste behind men. Y'all <laughs> <laughs> they never knew I was going to go down. They told me this one. They never knew I was going to go down. 
There are people that be reading our business. I preach it. There are people that will come like Tobias and Sambalat in your life. <laughs> and what you say, I'm again? Hey, that was a bunch of men. In the kind of time. Then they will ask you. You say you are trying to buy something yet? Have you done it yet? You say no. And you mean you want to take 1,000 and go get to the church? Tobias and Sambalat like will come. <laughs> <laughs> the cool man. Please slap your friend, say he preached. <laughs> <laughs> so watch what they did. The sub, the Amorites and the Egyptians and the Arabians heard it. They laughed at us to scorn. They start making mockery. Every time you want to do something for God, people will be trivializing it. When you go in, we go to church. You, I thought you were in church on Sunday. Yeah. Wednesday you were there. Yeah. So that Friday. You go here again? Sunday. Just, just, just look at even when we go to parties. And I'm being very honest and nice. When we go to parties, do you know how many hours we sit down there? Do you know? But do you know when you're in church, everything tickles you to leave? <laughs> you find a reason that it's too long. It don't take all of this time to preach a message. Well, all of it. But when we were at that party, I don't know about you. I like to be honest. I can care less about you. Me and God will talk about my kids. Me, I like socialization. When I go there, I make sure I enjoy. I don't worry. When I go celebrate people, I celebrate them. And we all can be flexible. But every time you want to do something good, it will be tried and it will be tested. The enemy will attack you from all out. And so they scold them to laugh. And they say, what is this thing that you're trying to do? We'll, we'll rebel against the king. Are you rebelling against it? Give me verse 20. Give me verse 20. Then Asa at them and said unto them, The God of heaven, that's why we come to our key text today, that is time to arise. He will prosper us. Therefore, we his servant we will arise and do. I want to close. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Let me close on this. Thank you. Oh, Only if that stuff require required you carry and want to do it, but you have to be strong. The people had a mind to work. They said we could do it. I want you to be focused. Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 1. Go full. Stand up. I'm about to close. Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 1 to 4. It says, Now it came to pass when Sambalat and Tobias, the Gishan and the Arabian and the rest of our enemies heard that I had built the wall and that there was no branch left therein. Though at that time I had not set up the doors upon the gate. Let's keep, let me show you something. I better pray. That Sambalat <laughs> and Gishan sent unto me when you do doing work for God and you're doing the right thing oh, you will be distracted sometimes when people closer to you and oh, you won't get all that money they give to that church so you need, you need to go there what I'm telling you in that church you're just doing, it's not a man it's about God, Amen. it's about God oh, this church we in is about God, we tell you everything that God wants us to do he said unto me, saying, Come, let us meet together. People won't distract you. In some one of the village, in the plain of Ono. But they talk to do me harm and mischief. Every time you're on the good track, the enemy will be calling you. Mm -hmm. My mom has a saying. She said, When you're in good house, bad house is calling you. So people always think that the grass is greener on the other side. Oh no, I bad to differ. The grass is not always greener on the other side. In fact, the wisest man to ever live on the planet Earth say, oh, that glitters is not gold. Yes. He sent message unto them saying, ah, and in church, leave me alone. Yes. Hmm. 
they were calling him higher. Mm -hmm. Come, let's go party. Come, let's go do this. Come, let's invest in this. He said, you're leaving me. I'm doing a good work. He said, I'm doing a good work so that I cannot come down. I can leave what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Why should the work cease? Why I leave it and come down to you? Mm -hmm. Look at verse 4. You must be strong. Yes. People want you to stop doing some good things in your life. I don't know what there is. Don't make me just say church business. I'm not a churchy kind of person. I've been in the street before. I'm kind of a gangster kind of pastor. Grenade kind of pastor. Yeah, you know, I've come through your conservative ranks. Now, now the moment you, you can't talk, who told you I can't talk anything I want to talk? You look at my mouth, I can tell you anything. But God is still. Amen. I'm not put in box. And then, oh, Pastor, don't say that. Yes. Don't cross your letter that. Don't do that. They don't wear that kind of clothes. Where do you don't wear that kind of clothes? It's not what I wear. Yet, they sent on to me hmm. four times. You say, oh, it's time. I'm going to go to my wife. They make mockery on you. You scared of that woman? Right. Now, Debbie and Darby in your business. Yes, yes, yes. Tell somebody, say, he's ready to help me now. Yes, yes. They ask you something, say, let me consult my husband. Are your husband working for the money? Okay. How are you? They're ready to bring this chief yes. in your marriage now. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I wish I had time, but I need you. They keep asking him all kind of things. Mm. Oh, I want to go to school in hard, but I told you to leave that school, baby, let go work to harass <laughs> They pay $16. I told you I was Debbie and that when I'm ready to get in your business, I'm making room to you that I'm coming in your business. When I'm preaching the word, that one boy tell me to preach it. I'm just letting you know your friends will tell you all kinds of things when you're ready to do good things. Yes. Don't settle down with him, man. He ain't got nothing. That other guy likes you, he got money. Mm -hmm. But that other guy is not good for me. Mm -hmm. This man is a godly man. This man got future. With mm -hmm. this man, I can build. But no, that man got a fancy car. Mm. Oh no, this other girl is good for me, but she not why. You know, some girls they are very when they get in a place they show off. They call crap. So you, you are talking to the other man. You want to get a call crap or maybe a butt beat. Let me come up here, my puppet. So you pick up, you big, big butt trouble. Disaster. He talk. He die. Master shop. Me, I think I married a long time ago. If I was still in the hospital here today, I would have given a woman. I want my daughter there, you're looking for something.
you send a ring. Today, I release a ring in this house. I release a ring in this house. I release a ring upon the Lord.
journey he prayed. Every journey he prayed. I want you to pray. That oh God gave me the spirit to build. There are some errors different in your life from my life. Some people want to build wealth. Some people want to build their life. Some people want to build their family. Some people want to build their marriage. Some people want to build there. Yeah, they want to build there. Let's take one more minute talk. Say, oh God, help me to build. You are in the form of that. That's not good. You are here. I mean what I said. Yes, man. Your Holy Spirit is very deep. Now be sons and wonders from here. Touch your people. Build it, oh God. Build it, oh God. Build it, oh God. Build it, oh God. There is a moment when the atmosphere is stirred. Right now, the atmosphere is right. Wherever your heart is right now, God is able to grant it unto you. Just like Nehemiah, if you say, God, I want to build in this era. I want to be a part of this building project. I need to build my life. It's about time, beginning this month, I begin to build me. I begin to build my marriage. Begin to build. I have left my marriage. I hustle too much. I'm, I focus on some other things. All in all my relationship, all my spiritual life. I come to this America. I'm just doing every other thing. But God thing. Come to church when I can. Do it when it's comfortable for me. Lord, I need to build my spiritual life. As you make up your mind, let me close you in prayers. Father, I kneel down because I don't want to play pastor. I want to be me. It's rather fortunate and unfortunate I have to play this role. But I come and ask you to help me to build my life. Build my family. Build my ministry. Build your kingdom. Father, it is with that heart I pray for each and every one standing in this pool of Bethesda. When Nehemiah was, when, 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 when the, 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 the chief, Nehemiah was sick, the prophet told him to go into the pool of water and he will be clean. Your people are standing in the pool right now. Spiritually, supernaturally, they are standing in the pool. Touch each man, each woman, each boy, each girl at the point of the need. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Don't go low.